All right, so welcome back to White House Farm. Uh, what we're working on today, uh, actually a couple different things. We're replacing a skimmer, but we're also fixing a tear and a liner. And I'll show you here. That big gouge down there. They had an umbrella fly off there in a windstorm and cut the liner in there. And that's a good four or five inch tear in it. So we have some replacement liner and we have some good HH66 vinyl cement. So we're gonna have to get in the pool and go ahead and patch this up. So let's get in there. All right, so we're in the pool. We gotta go down and see how big the actual tear is and measure it out. So we go ahead and start cutting up some vinyl. So let's get down there. I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so you got a quick look at it. We're gonna try and flatten the sand out in there, get that as flat as possible, and then clear, like rub with your hand all the way around it, make sure there's no sand or dirt or anything, because you wanna try and get a clean mating surface for the new vinyl. All right, so we got it flattened out more. So now we should be able to lay that down and we removed any debris and stuff. So let's go ahead and start cutting our vinyl for that. And you can measure it by using your hand. That way you know how long the cut is. All right, so it was a little bit shorter than my hand, but we're gonna, you wanna cut it a little bit bigger and you don't want, corners so you want to round out whatever patch you're cutting so just to get a, a set out here we can go ahead and cut here all right so now we're going to take an oval here get rid of any of these corners Now we got a nice oval patch. And that's about the length in here of the gash. We're gonna wanna get this entire thing. And the reason why you don't leave corners cause they, they peel up a lot easier and then it won't stick as well. And you want to get all the way to the edges.
Now we'll go down and put it on. Well, as you can see, uh, you may have to go back down under to go ahead and get the little lips there. Uh, but it's meant for underwater, and that's the whole purpose of this. And you can see there is a little bit of indentation. You're going to have that because uh, you really can't put sand in there uh, to try and fill it with pressure with water in there. So there's going to be a little bit of a bump, but at least now the hole is fixed and you won't have any leak in there. Main thing is to keep going back down and smooth it out nice and flat. And I'll go back down and show you. All right, so we're all set here. The pool is patched. Now it's time to get on over to the skimmer. We got the water draining down. Make sure to check out that video and all of our other pool videos. So hopefully this helps someone out and you can repair your pool instead of having to replace the liner because uh, it is expensive. And if you can try and match up, uh, that's just a newer piece. Uh, the liner is a little bit faded, but that'll actually start to blend in as we go. So we hope you like, enjoy, subscribe, and as usual, see you on the next one. Bye, guys. You can't say goodbye without saying goodbye to me. All right, Olaf. We'll see you on the next one. All right. Bye, Obo. Bye, guys.